Not too bad, actually, being in a bulk. What were we saying? My physique looks alright, right? Yeah, I reckon it looks pretty lit. <laughs> Jeez. Nice one, bro. Looking solid. I've trained a few days in my life, guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I've been in the gym a few times. A few lap pull downs. Speaking of lap pull downs, if I've got a pull day, it's gonna be sick. Do you see how much I weigh? You do, don't you? Because I do. Uh, let's go. 89 kilos. Up over three kilos from my lowest weight on my cut, which a lot of it is water, a lot of it is glycogen, but I feel like my condition hasn't suffered too much. It's only been a few days, right? But gained water, gained glycogen, I just feel fuller. I feel stronger. I feel better. I feel wow. What do you think? Do I look better? Yeah, yeah, you look great. I'm gonna keep this. Body fat up and bench 180. Hopefully. I mean, I might just indulge in a few croissants to do it, but I'm gonna do my best. All right, I'll see you boys when I made breakfast. Service announcement, I just need to tell you about something. These turkey bacon rashers, they're some brand, I can't remember, but the turkey bacon rashers I'll put it on the screen are fucking banging, okay? They literally taste like bacon, but like without the fat, the macros are insane. Even better than the hex sausages because they don't have any fat, which is fucking sick. One bagel, 20 grams of jam, another bagel, 20 grams of Nutella. You know the deal. I'm gonna eat. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Like the channel if you're already a subscriber. I'll see you guys in a second. Lucy has swindled me, she's convinced me, and we've booked the, the tickets to Budapest. To Budapest, yeah. So we've booked tickets to Budapest, we've got an Airbnb, we have a car there. The Airbnb is well nice and it's way better than getting a hotel because yeah. we've got a kitchen and stuff like that. We're going to throw pictures up on the screen of the Airbnb, it looks a bit like this. We're going to go to Budapest, we're going to do loads of things, it's going to be sick. This is happening on the 21st of February to the 24th of February, so we're going there for three days. And there's a couple of gyms that I found that I want to go to, yeah. and then we're going to like do some like Budapest stuff. And then after Budapest, Marbella, right? No, that's in, that's going to be in June, I think oh, we yeah. should, we, we're going to go like Loads of places. We should go to Rome. We should go to Rome. Yeah. I think we should go to Rome. I want a pizza Rome. in Rome. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be lit. Yeah, we'll be so yeah lit. but she's convinced me to do it. And <laughs> how much was it for both of us? It was one eighty for the. It was one eighty for the plane tickets, parking, and the car rent. And yeah, car rent, and then so one eighty, really and then one eighty for the Airbnb for three yeah. nights. So like so nearly four hundred pounds, like yeah. three sixty. Yeah. 360 for both of us. And then it will be three like days. pennies there for whatever we do. Yeah. That's Literally epic. Super. That's Literally gonna be epic. so cool. It's gonna be so cool. Cheeky little holiday. I'm so excited. Holiday, as if like. <laughs> no, it's not holiday. It's just like an excuse to like do something different. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, so yeah. also. <sighs> pool day. Time to get fucking swole. Oh my god, I'm gassed. All right, before we go train, I'm going to ask you for one thing and one thing only. Guys, please subscribe. Just subscribe to the channel. It's literally as simple as that. It's not that I hard. keep telling you, and you just keep... Uh, if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing, mate. All right? That's all I ask of you. That's all we're going to do. And I'm going to go fucking smash this pool station. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's smash Let's it. Let's go. Training session was absolutely immaculate. We're gonna answer some questions because you guys have questions and I'm gonna give you my honest answers to every single one of them. Do girls' past relationships bother you in any way? Only if the girl is dishonest. If you tell me how many guys you slept with, if you tell me exactly what you did, if I ask, that is, I don't want you to tell me that. Oh yeah, by the way, I've sucked 20 penises. Just like, uh, if I ask and you tell me, yeah, I've had like, Three boyfriends slept with five guys. Anything above like five is unacceptable to me, to be honest. Even five is like high. I mean, the lower the better. Yeah. Especially like at a young age, there's so many girls that just like go out and just become like. It's a bit much. You know what I mean? It? What camera does Mr. Handsome use? I use a Sony A7S III. How do you stay consistent in training? I literally don't have an answer for you. I just love it. I love it. 
I love it. There is this one thing I want to do all the time. I've spoken about this before, but it's like mm. me, it's like having sex. You don't get motivated to have sex, you just want it. You want it all the time. It's just, you're just hungry. You want it. You want to go. And that's like, I feel like that every single day. I want to go to the gym right now. I'd love to. And if you don't enjoy it, then uh, you should probably find something else to do. And that, that's not, not, that's not, not training. Maybe just try and figure out a different way of training. Like something might stick with you. No, you might like really enjoy like powerlifting specific training yeah. or bodybuilding or whatever. Like, there's so many ways to train, just like figure it out. Who was in Paris? Um. <laughs> A couple of fellas, you know what I'm saying? Know. You know the ones. I can't believe I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get as big or strong as you given I'm consistent and hardworking you inspire me, bro? Thank you, firstly. Uh, that's really sweet. That's really kind. The issue the issue with this question is that my genetics are completely different. My circumstances are completely different. The way I grew up and my work ethic and stuff is completely different. I'm not saying it's better than yours. What I'm saying is completely different people. And comparing yourself to another person, you can get inspiration and sort of think like, oh, he's achieved this 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 amount of work naturally. Okay, so there is there is my there is the barrier, but you might not be able to reach it, right? Mm -hmm. There's people like Seabum. I might look up to Seabum and be like, oh my god, I'd love to look like him. You'll never look like him. But I'll never look like him, right? Um, but no matter how much you train like him, you'll never look like be him. Be the most consistent and hard working you can be and as long as you're progressing in comparison to yourself that's all that matters yeah and that's, that's i know so it true. sounds cliche and cringe no, but like that that's so exactly true. what it is only you versus you matters boobs or ass i, I really like boobs do not care about boobs whatsoever basically boobs take up like one percent of my interest and then everything else is in the glutes mm. yeah. Fuck off, mate. Uh, breast protein powder price nutrition and quantity to be honest with you despite me being sponsored if i was going to buy protein powder the first place i would go is my protein because of the, how the che it's cheap yeah it's cheap there's always discounts and if you buy the isolate not the regular way concentrate because like isolate has more protein and it's like pure protein just have that and then buy like a vanilla flavor chocolate flavor and forget about yeah. it ways like expensive all, all around though at the yeah. moment so probably just figure out some other ways to get your protein yeah. in because it really like i don't know if i was like 16 years old and trying to like buy protein. I wouldn't have enough money for whey. I'm, I'm nearly 100% convinced that all of these like bougie brands are just like rebranded stuff from like the same factory. Whey is whey. They all taste the same. I've had a million different ways. They're like flavors are different. They mix the same. Everything's the same. The only, thing, the only difference is like my wallet is a little bit lighter if I buy the bougie brand. I don't necessarily agree with you with that because I've had like a few different flavors from different brands. But anyways. How long have you been with Lucy? It's been like two and a half years. It's been like, it's, it's been like three years. It's coming up to three years. Coming up to three years. <laughs> what do I know? I don't care how long we've been together. We've basically yeah. been married since the day we met. Do I use a belt and squat shoes? Yes, I use a belt and squat shoes. Not necessary, but squat shoes help with uh, ankle flexibility because not a lot of people have any ankle flexibility. Mm -hmm. And if you're not like 5'5 five five with tiny legs like me, I'm not 5'5 five five and 5'10, but if you don't have short legs like me, it's gonna be difficult for you to squat. So squat shoes really help. Mm -hmm. And a belt is amazing all around. It just mm -hmm. it, uh, gives you more abdominal pressure, which means like, mm -hmm you're more stable, more gains. My belt is like my number one thing. I love, like if I was to squat or deadlift, I just would, I wouldn't do it without a belt. Yeah. I love it. Belts are lit, yeah. belts are sick. Sumo or conventional? I prefer, I don't know, I think I prefer conventional just because of the way it's like a raw exercise. Mm. Sumo is cheating, despite whatever you think, whatever yeah. you think it is, it just is. Conventional is a lot harder. So yeah, I'd probably just choose conventional. Yeah, I really like conventional, it's fun. I pulled sumo for most of my lifting career, but at the moment I'm really enjoying conventional. So. Yeah. Sumo is more difficult though. Technically. Yeah. Yeah, that's what people say when they're but, like, but have nothing else to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, like oh, I pulled, technically more difficult. Yeah, I, okay. I pulled 140 sumo and I can only do like 120 conventional. So it's definitely like way easier. Mm. What do you do for your skincare? Um, all I do is shower. I've been using some salicylic acid cream, which I've been putting on, which has actually helped a lot with my chest because I, I broke out after using Fatal. And I've been using it. There's still a spot here because I had McDonald's a couple of days ago and it just appears. Let's yeah. just react like that. Um, but it literally helps with my skin. Yeah. That's that. I clean my skin with my cellar water and I moisturize day and night. Lucy's a girl, don't listen to her. Can you make gains and drink alcohol? Absolutely. It's gonna be like, you're gonna make gains, 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 you're gonna drink and then you're gonna drop a little bit, right? You're gonna take two steps back and then once you start training, you're gonna take three steps forward. So it's like you're, you're cutting your gains short a little bit because it's not exactly optimal. You're literally poisoning your body. It depends how much you drink. Yeah, it depends on how much you drink. If you're having a, a, a beer or a couple of beers when you do drink, it's fine. Yeah. If you're a heavy drinker, of course it's gonna affect your gains. You know that, you know that's the case. But if you heavily drink like once or twice a month, like it's not gonna affect you that much, but if you're doing it every weekend, like it will yeah. affect you, yeah. it really will. You could snort some crack every few, few, few <laughs> like a month, once a month and you'll be fine, right? Do you know what I'm saying? What happens after 180 bench? 200 kilo bench. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's like, and then after to do 200 kilo, 220, right? It's a never ending cycle. Are you and Joel still friends? I believe we're still friends. We just don't talk to each other as much as we used to. Yeah. And then like he's getting all of his stuff, I get all my stuff. And that's yeah. basically it. There's not no bad blood or anything. We just used to be talking all the time. And then as time goes on, we're just like, 
and that's it. Yeah, thanks. Nothing, nothing bad. Why aren't you training legs these days? My legs are too big, and I'd rather focus on just doing like push pull, push pull, push pull until I like burn out, and then I take a rest day, push pull, push pull, push pull, burn out. Um, my legs are too big. I have a problem that nobody has. My legs are like three years ahead of my physique, yeah. and they always will be. I haven't trained them properly. I've trained them properly once in the last month, maybe, and like. They're just, they're just not, they don't, they're not much. Yeah, yeah, I'm just so just... genetically like superior in my legs. There's like, it's just crazy. Yeah. All right, that's all. All right, that's all the questions I have time for. Subscribe to the channel. Videos coming at you every day at 12 p.m. Check out my programs, my protein, Gymshark code. Everything is down in the description. Love you loads. See you tomorrow.